The top end of the golf bag is something that so many golfers always get wrong. And to help battle this, TaylorMade have now released even more clubs for the Stealth lineup. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name's James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video I have a brand new set of golf clubs on offer from TaylorMade. Guys, these are the TaylorMade Stealth DHY and UDI irons. Guys, these are to help battle those horrible gaps in the top of the bag and hopefully get you hitting better long shots off the tee and into the green. So here's how this is going to go. Today we are going to test the brand new TaylorMade Stealth DHY and Stealth UDI out here on the golf course and we're also going to get some numbers and see which one maybe you should have in your bag and also which one potentially I could have in my bag. Guys check out the difference in these ball flights and comment below which club do you think I'm hitting here. That is position A. Now comment below, which one am I hitting here? That is way too easy. Way too easy. So guys, you will see in the bag today, we do have a vast array of tailor-made stealth UDIs and DHYs. Now the UDI, as you'll see here, is the ultimate driving iron. So very similar to the P790 UDI I have been using in the bag and the DHY, the driving hybrid, a little bit thicker sole. We're gonna go through the tech in just a second, but guys, they were two very different ball flights, weren't they? And that's exactly what TaylorMade are trying to offer in the top end of your golf bag. Two pretty good tee shots here on the opening hole at Woolley Park Golf Club. We've got the UDI just on the left-hand side, lovely low penetrating ball flight, as I'm sure you saw. Then over on the right-hand side, exactly the same distance just slightly further right off the tee is the dhy so you'll see here that i used both two irons and you'll see that the udi is 18 degree dhy is 17 degree the dhy is designed to launch a little bit higher see that the weight is lower in the sole it does have a much wider sole as well so the cg is lower and further back so they can have it a degree stronger you still get the lovely high floaty ball flight whereas with the udi that's much more stinger season where you can get it to come out nice and low and piercing but nice to see that you still get very similar distances off the tee. Let's play one of these and then we're going to get on the next tee, guys. I'm going to set up the flight scope out here on the golf course, check out some numbers with premium balls in blustery weather, because that's exactly what these clubs are designed for. So we'll hit one in just for fun, but the idea here is to get the ball in play off the tee, and that's exactly what these clubs have done for me. Testing them out here on a windy day is perfect, because that's what TaylorMade do claim these clubs are designed for. Let's see if we can capitalise on this ball being in play and attack that flag. And that is exactly what we wanted. You may think that these clubs are totally different because they look so different, but the looks is where the differences change. They're both ram-packed full of technology. They both have the through-slot speed pocket. They both feature speed foam air, which is 69% less dense than the standard speed foam was. You'll remember that from the new P790 irons. And they also both feature a forged hollow body construction, and that's allowed TaylorMade to position that CG exactly where they want it for that nice forgiving ball flight right let's see what it's like around the greens chris had bit all over me using the new dhy to chip in on this opening hole oh. ah. so guys that is enough tech talk on the new tailor-made stealth udi and dhy irons let's get some numbers let's see exactly how these clubs do differ how they both perform out here on the golf course where it counts and guys we're going to play some stingers coming up so stay tuned for that i'm really looking forward to seeing the differences in these clubs now you see one of the huge bonuses for me with the new tailor-made stealth udi and dhy irons is options you'll see that i've got quite a few of these in the bag to test a few dhys a few udis now you can get the udi in two through to four iron replacement although if you do want the dhy you can get that in a two through to five iron replacement that could be game changing for some people who just struggle with those long clubs at the top end of the bag right 
these are my favorite these are the ones that could make way in my bag i think a lot of people personally will go for the udi just because it looks so much better looks so much sleeker taylor made even say that they've tried to make it have more shelf appeal with that kind of black toe and mirrored finish on the bottom but then a lot of people may well suit the dhy instead just because of its ease of use now i'm also well aware that you're not going to buy both of these clubs you're going to go one or the other saying that you might go a two udi a three dhy a three you know what i mean but how versatile are they so can i play a nice high shot with the udi iron the smaller iron or is that stingers only is that low penetrating shots only and can we do vice versa with the dhy club we're downwind here so a nice high ball flight would be perfect and this is the udi That was really toey, but it's actually done quite well. That's position A, and that was a lovely high flighted ball flight. Let's see if we can play the opposite with the DHY, driving hybrid. That doesn't make sense to me either. It should just be DH, I think, or UDH, ultimate driving hybrid, maybe. You see, if the DHY is versatile enough, for me, it's a no brainer. This would be the kind of perfect club for most golfers. Don't get me wrong, it's not the prettiest club, it's not the sexiest club, it does have a little bit of junk in the trunk, but that can be forgiven if we can play little stingers with it and nice high forgiving shots, maybe into those par fives or longer par threes. Right, stinger. This does look so much easier to hit straight away. Oh, it's absolutely perfect, that one. I really enjoyed that. So if the DHY is that versatile and actually quite a little bit better looking than the old SIM DHY that we had before, or the SIM 2 should I say, is it the perfect club for the mid-handicap golfer, the high-handicap golfer, even someone like myself? Guys, I've just hit loads of balls with a launch monitor out here on the golf course and there was actually quite a big difference between the DHY and the UDI as you can imagine. I'll put the numbers on screen now for the UDI. You'll see 235 yards average carry, spinning around three and a half thousand, which is pretty good. And I'm gonna take that all day, especially off a par 4T, because in summer that's gonna run out to 260, 270, 280, and that's just good numbers. The DHY, 10 yards further with more spin, is that not like a cheat code? 245 a bit carry with more spin, so it's gonna be more controlled. As long as it's not a really windy day, you could be onto a winner with that. I actually really enjoyed some of the ball flights that I got with both of these clubs. Are they better than the P790 UDI? Because that's even slimmer still, and you can play some beautiful, sexy slingers with that. Hmm, is that another video? But then I must admit, however good these clubs are, there'll always be a little bit of an elephant in the room for me when you see something get released kind of this time of year. People might be thinking, why is the Stealth family growing now? Why didn't we see these when the drivers came out, the fairways came out, the irons came out? Are Taylor made up to something? Have they got a new iron range potentially coming out so that you can then gap your Stealth UDI and DHY in there? Maybe, potentially, who knows? But with drives like that, I know one thing's for sure, that could potentially be sneaking in quite a few people's bag towards the late end of 2022. And let's be fair, it'd be rude not to take advantage of this tee shot and see what we can send in here to the second hole. This is a lovely flag location. If we can carry that bunker on the left and use the slope, we could be onto something here. Oh, like that, be good. Oh, that is perfect. Amazing what can happen when you're in the middle of the fairway instead of the deep rough with a driver, even if it's a stealth driver. Now, there'll also be people wondering, but why isn't the face red? Why don't we have the carbon face? It is a tailor-made stealth golf club. Why does only the driver have the red carbon face? Or the blue or the yellow or the pink, depending if you go to the My Taylor Made custom site. Well, Taylor Made claimed that the hybrids and the fairway woods, because they have so much ground contact, they wouldn't be able to put the carbon face in them. But remember when we had twist face, and that was only putting the driver to start with. And then in the Sim 2, was it? We started to have it in the fairway woods and hybrids and things like that. Is this another, is this another stepping stone for TaylorMade? Or are we gonna see fully carbon-faced golf clubs throughout the bag? Would that even work? 
who knows? Guys, get in the comments below. Now, for me, there's just something about sending a ball into a slope, then letting it run back down towards a flag. Let's see if we can knock that in for a birdie with, uh, we'll go with the DHY this time. Not quite what the DHY was designed for, but I must admit, I'm really enjoying using these clubs. That's a birdie. Can you believe that's gone in? And you see guys, you may think that I'm just kind of taking the mick a little bit there, just having a bit of fun. But that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm having a bit of fun with these golf clubs and proving how versatile they can be. Yes, you don't need to put with them, but certainly using your imagination with golf clubs like this can be worth its weight in gold or foam or speed foam. Uh, anyway, right guys, we've got a lake on the left just at the distance that these clubs will go. Let's see if we can play a little bit of a fade into the wind here. A fade isn't my normal shot. How easy are these clubs to manoeuvre in the air? We'll go DHY first, then we'll go UDI, and we'll see which one performs better under the pressure of trying not to lose a golf ball. Oh, that is absolutely perfect. And I find myself keep saying that with this club. The club that potentially I wouldn't have in the bag because well, it's not quite as sexy as the UDI, I'm not going to lie. Um, right, let's see what the UDI does. Trying to play exactly the same shot. Low compressed fade into wind, water on the left. You've just hit one with the DHY. Ah, not a great strike at all, that's going to be slightly to the right. Certainly forgiveness isn't the strong point of the UDI but it's certainly going to be more forgiving than a standard 2-iron. I think, I think I might be very similar to a lot of golfers when it comes to these clubs and potentially should be going for DHY. 